Hello, welcome back children. Let's start our next poem from the book Beehive. The name of our poem is uh, On Killing a Tree. This poem is written by Jeev Patel. Children, you must have seen people cutting the trees. But can they kill a tree? Is it easy to do? Here in this poem, the poet sensitizes the reader's and uh, he highlights the fact that trees are also living beings. He equalizes trees with humans to convey that trees should not be cut because destroying a tree is just like killing a human being. A tree does not die merely by cutting because it regrows from where it was cut. In order to kill a tree, it has to be uprooted. In this poem, the poet sarcastically tells his readers to be sensitized or to be little more sensitive towards the issue of deforestation. Here, in this poem, the poet is describing the method of killing a tree. So let's start our poem. It takes much time to kill a tree. It's not easy to kill a tree. It takes a lot of time. Not a simple jab of knife will do it. Not a simple hit with a knife will help you to kill a tree. It has grown slowly consuming the earth. How tree has grown? The seeds of the tree were sown in the soil and from that earth it has sprouted and become and it has today become a tree so that is why it is written here it has grown slowly consuming the earth consuming the earth means getting the minerals and other things from the earth that is why it's written consuming the earth this means here consuming the earth here Children, consuming the earth means taking the minerals, water and other requirements from the soil. Rising out of it, the tree then comes out of the soil. Feeding upon its crust, absorbing years of sunlight, air, water. And out of its leprous hide, sprouting leaves. Here the poet means, it continuously keeps on growing, feeding, getting everything, its food from the crust of the earth, absorbing sunlight for years not only sunlight but air and water also at the same time for years and out of its leprous hide leprous hide means from inside the bark from the bark what grows leaves comes out leaves come out sprouting leaves leaves come out it's quite simple meaning but it's really uh, deep meaning so let's start a second so hack and chop but this alone won't do it. Hack and chop means just to cut it and chop it. Chop it into smaller pieces. Cut it or hit it with a knife and chop it into smaller pieces. But this alone won't do. These things will not help in killing a tree. Not so much pain will do it. Chopping and cutting will not cause so much of pain to a tree. See how sarcastically the poet is explaining that cutting and chopping will not cause a pain to the tree. But on the other hand, definitely it will cause a pain to the tree. But the poet is telling that a tree will not be killed just merely hitting it and by chopping it. The bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs, miniature boughs which if unchecked will expand again to form a size. Here the poet is telling the bleeding bark on cutting the trees, the sap which come out of the trees, bark, that will heal within no time. The tree will heal that portion of its injured part of the tree will be healed within no time. And again from the close to the ground, if the roots are there in the ground of the tree, then the new tree will immediately comes out from the lower part of the ground, from the portion of the tree which is near to the ground. On cutting the trees, 
when upper portion is cut the small tree trunks are left there only in the soil then from those tree trunks new leaves or new plant will come out and from close to the ground and from that cut tree trunk new curled green leaves and twigs will grow miniature boughs and small small plants which if unchecked will expand again to the former size if that if the new plant is also not uh, uprooted that new plant will grow again to its previous size means it will again become a tree no the root is to be pulled out the poet is saying here oh i think this will not do the roots is to be pulled out if you want to kill a tree completely if you want to destroy a tree completely then you have to pull the roots out of the anchoring earth the earth which is holding the roots anchoring means holding the earth or the roots hold the soil or the soil hold the roots then the earth which is or the soil or the roots which are holding the soil that are to be uprooted it is to be roped tied and pulled out and snapped out if the tree is quite big then you have to tie a rope you have to tie it then you have to pull the tree snapped out it has to be chopped out or pulled out entirely or you have to pull that tree entirely entirely means with its root also out from the earth cave out from the center of the earth you have to pull that tree out and the strength of the tree exposed when you will pull that out that time you will come to know how strong the tree was because if it will be it if it comes out easily then you will come to know that tree was not strong but if takes lot of efforts of your to pull the tree out of the ground then only you will come to know about the strength of the tree the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth now what is the source of all these things the roots are white and wet they are as they are under the soil they are wet they are the most sensitive part of the plant if the roots are cut means the whole tree is cut that that is why the roots are called as the most sensitive part of the plant they are hidden for how long they are hidden for the years they are hidden there in the earth for years then the matter of scorching and choking then comes after one th once the tree is pulled out of the earth now what you need to do if you want to kill it then you have to dry it scorching and choking you have to dry it in the sun in sun and air and browning and hardening when you will leave the tree with its root out in the sun then what will happen it will turn brown it will become dry it will hard it will twist and withering and finally it is done and finally it will die this is how sarcastically the poet has told us or how the poet is trying to tell us not to kill a tree because trees are important without trees there is no life on the earth they are the ultimate source of everything on the earth they help us in many ways many many ways they help us so here the poet has told us not to kill a tree is a deeper meaning the poet the meaning or the message which the poet wants to convey is not to kill a tree thank you children thank you